Holy moly, is this guy live again? That's crazy. Live in... Wait, three, three, three live streams in a day? See, this is the kind of productivity I can, I can uphold if I'm not making a video, which I'm just apparently very slow at. So, what's on the docket today? Today, we're playing Resident Evil 4 Remake. At the time when this remake came out, my PC could not, <laughs> could not handle such a game. <laughs> so this is exciting for me. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. Wait, why isn't it? Oh, gotta capture the window. Okay, should be, should be showing up. Hello, one-eyed spider. Hello, pessoas sem creatividade. What's going on? Okay, um, English, English, subtitles. Let's put subtitles on. My output device is headphones. Uh, should I play this mouse and keyboard or controller? I actually just thought about that. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of controllers for Resident Evil. I think I might just play keyboard. Adjust until the pattern's very visible, barely visible. Let's say right there. Uh, okay. Let's say right there. That's fair. Adjust until the image in the center is barely visible. Yeah. I barely see it. Okay. Wow. What? Four corner adjustment? Dude, I haven't seen this since like CRT TVs. Is this real? And the corners look fine to me. We're in there. I consent. I do not have a Capcom ID. Dude, just let me play. Oh, we may have to adjust volume. Hold on, let me check. Uh, okay, looks looks okay actually. For right now. Resident Evil. Okay. Care about the mercenaries right now. All right, let's um, let's jump in. Actually, wait. Let me look at the controls real quick. Uh, jeez, just gonna let me. Have to use a controller? Whatever. We'll figure out if we get in there. I'm familiar no, standard. Actually, should I just start hardcore? No, standard. Another one? Oh yeah. Three streams in one day? Yeah. Because I'm actually not actively working on a video right now. And... What the fuck? Is it a baby crying? Dude, this is a... This is new. This is not in Resident Evil 4. Oh, oh no! Look away! Don't look! Don't look! Ah! Okay. Well, that's, that's definitely new. That was not in the original game. September 30th, 1998. Oh, Leon Kennedy. Today I'll never forget. Scrumptious voice, so sultry. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Huh? Somehow I made it out, but too many others. So Wait, this is this is not the original voice actor, is it? I was asked later to join a top secret government program. <laughs> not that I had a choice. <laughs> the training. Punishing missions nearly killed me, but at least I kept my Dude, mind. This is all new. Everything. This was not in the original. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second. This time, it can be different. Dang, so Leon's like it has to. He's like punished Leon. Did the uh, the voice or whatever the um, what are they called? Mocap actor. Mocap actor they got for Leon is like ridiculously attractive. Almost went too hard with it. So Leon was always so the pretty boy of Resident Evil, but why did you come to this horrible place? He turned up to eleven. It's close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, huh? Hmm? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys don't get too attached to these guys. <laughs> Maybe you did. 
You have a strange sense of humor. <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Oh, I'm gonna turn the sound up Just a between bit. us. A lot of people have gone missing around here. And it's been that way for a while now. Well then. Should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> Also, the sequence, the sequence taking place, it looks like it's pitch black. In the original, I think it's more like, it's day. It's foggy, but it's day. I think this is it. This is it. Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. Okay, well, at least, at least this is accurate to the original. What happens? Que frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? Least favorite type of gun? You smoke? Least favorite? Sniper. I hate snipers. In basically every video game ever made that's multiplayer, I despise snipers with my my entire entire being. It's just not fun for anyone. How many traps do you think they'll survive? <laughs> Zero. Hey. Anyone here? Wait, what was that? Was it just like a statue in the ground? Okay, let's let's go. Let's go. I'm ready to go. He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Sure thing, mister. Oh, what's the car? Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. <laughs> Very funny. It. The Leon's jacket is so cool. I remember the first time I played this game, I was like, I, I need to get that jacket. Sadly, it's not really ever cold enough where I live to like require a jacket of that, of that strength. Alright, chapter one. Yeah. Oh, so this is this is a lot fancier than the original already. It's pretty impressive. What what what's the uh the time between the first release and the remake? Has it been twenty years? There's no way it's been twenty years. So I think um I remember when the first one when it came out originally, I was like definitely too young to play it, but I think I ended up playing it. On the Wii? I like got it got it for like a twenty dollars the Wii version. When I was I don't know, how old was I? It's definitely at the point where like Resident Evil is actually scary. Cause these games kinda got criticized for not really being scary anymore after a while. But when you're a child, when you're actually a child, Resident Evil is pretty scary. How far could he have gone? Hmm? Classic. It's not a Resident Evil game without close-ups of some nasty gore. Jeez, crouch, that's weird. Wait, is this is this the first house you see? What? They changed this so much. Like you used to be able to walk around this side. So in here we're gonna have our first encounter. Yes. <laughs> Leon just says, "Don't mind me." Anyone home? Okay. So we'll check out this door. The Resident Evil engine is so, so cool. I love the lighting. Can you rotate? Why? Can you rotate? Huh? 
Cool. Just a nice little nice little doodad someone's made there. Arts and craft project. Already, I kind of feel like if I were to change something, I would make the camera... I would raise the camera by, like, quite a bit, actually. Leon's taking up a lot of the screen. Okay, okay. Man, this house is huge. In the original, this is, like, kind of just like a shack. It does have two stories, though. Get in here. Favorite type of gun? You mean like in real life or in video games? In video games, a shotgun boy. There's a shotgun class I'll always play. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Who's go on police yet? Oh, so he attempts to communicate in this one. In the original, he just, like, shoots this guy. <laughs> uh, what's up, SQB? Sam. Yeah, another stream. <clears throat> Wait, he, he already killed that guy and got his ID here? That's fast. <laughs> Broke that guy's neck. Clean kill. You know any police officer? Yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't waste any part of it, right? Eat the whole thing. This is not good. Keep pressing E to pick stuff up. It actually just like crouches. Let's look around. I bet Mr. Sam Bringo would eat this right here. That's yummy. What? What is this? Is this a sloth? <laughs> what animal is this? Maybe, maybe a rabbit. No. Man, that stinks. <laughs> okay. Okay. Another stream. Yeah. Another stream. I'm actually not making a video currently. There's not a video like in direct production, so figure I would like to play some video games, and it's hard to justify playing video games if you're not streaming. It's the sad part about being a YouTuber. You have to kind of make everything you do part of YouTube. Hmm? She could eat more games. You know, some games have eating systems, they have like hunger systems, but no game, no game has a pissing system. What's up with that? I think you should have a hunger meter and a piss meter and a, a thirst meter and um... I guess some games have like cold meters, like a temperature meter. No. Survival games like sound fun on paper to me, but whenever I play them, they don't end up being as fun. Like I was playing... The Forest 2. I know you guys have heard of that game. So I really like The Forest 1. And my character's just getting hungry all the time. And I was just like, oh, this, this is not fun. I don't actually just want to go farming or whatever. Or hunting. <clears throat> replay T. Cole. The love ending. I could maybe replay that before the third episode comes out. Just to get it fresh in my mind. Not a bad idea. <laughs> But we don't have we don't have word on when the third episode's coming out yet, and now it's delayed. I read you. What's your situation? I had Resi 4 on the Wii and I kept opening cabinets, going, mmm. <laughs> yeah, I actually unironically think Resident Evil 4 on the Wii is good. Because you can aim you can aim your gun with the Wii mode, which is like perfect. I think when I played Resident Evil 4 on the Wii, I never missed a shot. It was just pure headshots. I was just out there just doming Ganados, just right and left. I think I may have... I may have made the game a little bit too dark, because I'm having a hard time, like, seeing what anything. Was 
jeez, what is this? Oh, man. <laughs> More like, what was this? Ugh. Ugh. No fucking way. Here we go. Our first oh, he's he's back. Oh, no. Oh, I pressed this. Okay, cool. It's night. This just keeps getting worse. Dang, okay, so the first enemy ended up being a zombie. It's different than the original. It's this whole... This whole thing is going to be me comparing the original to <laughs> to this, but it's hard not to. It's hard not to. I'm all turned around. I have no, no sense of direction. This is where we came from? Yeah, this is where we saw the guy. This plug is kind of wacky. Yeah, it is kind of wacky. It was an interesting way to, like... So, like, usually in games, headshots are good because they're going to require less bullets. But then, like, the Lost Plagas thing is a way to have there be a risk to that. Like, sometimes you headshot them and they just have the... The stupid parasites that kill you in, like, one hit on hardcore mode. Oh, I'm out of here, boys. Look up secret machine gun? Is it the typewriter? I assume they have the typewriter in this one. The typewriter was so good. I only have two shots left. This is... It's dicey. Gotta get out of here. Oh, we're gonna do the cool jump out the window! Yeah, let's go! Let's go. wouldn't eat it. I was just ladder cheese. Yeah, that's true. There is a lot of a lot of cheesing you do with ladders. That's kind of the fun part about these games though. Why they're so replayable is like there's a lot of Bruce, a lot of stuff you can do. This is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. Whoa. It's likely she's in this village. Are the Hunnigan like codex sequences not? Intel was correct then. Well, like a little screen on your walkie? It's Eagle like a cutscene? Whoa. <laughs> Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Uh oh, Leon. Gotta go. Talk later. There's no time to flirt with Hunnigan. Let's go. I only got two shots. I'll let myself out. Okay, I'm glad he's still. I'm glad he sounds like one liners. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's lost interest. He's like, ah, never mind. He's on the ground now. Okay, we need we need ammo already. For the lake. Wait, why why am I going to the lake? Was I not paying attention to that story? Like what? Why are we going to the lake? I don't have to remake a loss for that. Yeah, I'm not sure either. You get to the village, throw away all your Throw away all your items. All? But go to the right front. Secret MP5. Is that true? It sounds kind of like baloney. I wonder if you can still... Can you still flash grenade crows? That first one you can flash grenade crows for uh, items. Let's go. Got some handgun ammo. Oh, do we still have that? Yeah. We still got the attaché case. Let's go. Uh -huh. Now, are there limited typewriter saves, or is it infinite typewriter? It looks infinite because I don't have a, I don't have a ribbon. Gunpowder. What? Oh, right. I forgot you can, like, make your own stuff in the new Resident Evil games. It's been a while since I played. I played 7 a while ago. I actually really liked it. It's a good game. But then I played 8 and I was like, eh. This is alright. This is alright. Oh. Full 
Earth is very dead. <laughs> uh, it's it's seen better days. That is for sure. Okay. Okay. Is there a new crouching ability? How do I get my knife out? Oh, okay, just click. It's very instantaneous. That's kind of cool. He's serious about it. Oh! Let's go. Oh. <laughs> God damn, Leon. I have to spray some uh, nice little green herb on that one. What was that bar under the knife thing? Is that like how long he's on the ground? Jeez, poor Leon, man. That was, that was a rough hit. I don't know how many more of those I can take. Oh, man. Forget petting the dog in games. What about pissing in the urinal? That's what I'm saying, dude. No game is, no game is brave enough to have a piss meter. In which case, this game blows. True. Oh, I didn't see it. God damn it. Yeah, I hope I have a first aid spray. How much HP do I have? You're restoring health. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is this my HP? Okay, I'm actually still fine. Surprisingly, that gaping axe wound I have in my left shoulder is not all that serious. Now this, this is serious. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, we got a flash grenade. So we can change weapons. Wait, what? What is this? So I can scroll. Weird. I don't like that. I think it's time to use our setting weapon shortcuts. Okay, you can set a weapon shortcut. Cool. Oh, so we don't have to go into the attache case to equip them? Yeah. Interesting. Up to eight weapons can be assigned at once, two weapons to each of the four directions. Cool. So how does that work on PC, though? Hmm. It's a red herb. Nice. Nice. Let's keep an eye out for bear traps. You know, there's definitely something to be said about the simplicity of older games. Now that games look much, much more realistic than they used to, there's definitely some visual clutter. Like, in the first game, spotting a bear trap, honestly not that hard. But in this game, where everything is you know, visually busy, it's just, uh... Oh, what is that symbol? Oh, binoculars. Okay. Rest in peace. Oh, he's still alive! Oh no, it's brutal. <laughs> Man, you caught easily. You know, I don't have a ton of experience with arson, but I don't I don't think humans catch fire that easily. Do they? Like, I, I've been near a few fires and it didn't I didn't just go up in flames. No, I've been I've been fairly, fairly close. They look friendly? Yeah, they look they do look friendly. It is a cookout. Unfortunately for our police friend, he was invited. Not as a guest. It's the main course. Okay, let's grab our green here. We can... Okay, item crafting. Uh, assume it works how it always did, where you just drag, right? Yeah. Nice. Wait, what's this? Gunpowder. Mm -hmm. 
Could have put something flammable. True. You guys ever play with uh, Zippo fluid? Should I start the sequence? I guess I'm ready as I'll ever be, right? Zippo fluid burns at like a really low temperature. So here we go. You can put it on your skin and just like not not for a long time, but like briefly, you can have your hands be on fire and it doesn't hurt. It's kind of interesting. When I was younger, I used to do it all the time as like a party trick. Like, look at this! Kind of back to the corner here. <laughs> this is not our, not the greatest place. Let me load real quick. I wish I'd grab a shotgun. God. I'm in trouble here. All right, I got some ammo from that guy. Uh, so the shotgun used to be in this building. Let's see if it still is. That's a cool little cinematic transition right there. Okay. Oh, this guy's lost some weight. In the first game, the, the chainsaw guys are kind of kind of chunky. Okay. My lucky day. Okay, we still got it. Old reliable. Oh, W eight seventy. Let's go ahead and try it out. Actually, I only got five shots. Maybe I should save it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. Out of my way. Out of my way! Okay, okay. I'm gonna jump out of. I can't. I need to get out of here. This is not looking so hot. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Is this? I don't think you get in here in the first game. Oh! Okay, you still can't. It was a prank. <laughs> the rest in peace, Leon. All right, well, we had to see that at least once. We had to see it at least once. It was worth it. Continue. Doctor Salvador? Wait, is that a real? Real named character in this game. Okay, let's let's play this better. Let's play this better. Let's play it tighter, bigger, tighter, better, solider. Hmm? Wonder, can we stealth kill this girl so we don't have to do the guns blazing? Resources. That, that looked like a self kill. Wait, is my knife? Does my knife have a meter? Like, do, does it break? Toss away everything. Get the MP5. Doesn't that doesn't sound real? There's no way it just lets you toss away your gun. Can you do that? Oh, to typewriter storage? What? I don't this does not sound real at all. It does look like the knife has a durability bar. And then what? <laughs> you have nothing. You can't beat the go. game. Yeah, I just I just have nothing. <laughs> Go to the well. 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to get there. Oh, they go to the well. Go to the well. I'm trying to remember where the well is. Is it like the middle of town? Oh no, it's it's the back, right? This thing. Let's see it. Just look it up. Why, why are you telling me to do it and then tell me to look it up? You gotta tell me exactly what to do. Oh, this this is not real. could kind of see it if you like get into a possible situation the game has to like give you a way out of it but at the same time throwing away all your stuff is so stupid hmm. is this the well it's more of a water faucet than a well know Leon can slip past there. He's pretty he's pretty slippery. Pretty slippery fellow. Okay, here comes Mr. Chainsaw. Is there a up here? I think uh, I think this is fake. I'm pretty sure Chad is trolling me. Yeah, what's up, Mr. Dome? I guess we just we just take our take our L right here. Just kill me. All right. So what's our plan? We gotta get the shotgun first. We can stealth kill, which I guess is a new addition for this game. That's kind of cool. Although, <laughs> should Leon kill that girl right there? I don't know. Like the village is definitely hostile. Just not sure he has the the full moral authority. Let's grab this. Do the stealth kill here. Oh, I messed it up. That's what we wanted to do. Okay, so it's like a man prompt. Um, let's just go get the shotgun then. Okay, block this guy. Easy. Waiting for Doom Eternal to install. That's a great game. I think that was actually like the first FPS I've enjoyed in a long time. But like a return. A return to classics. I hate how much stagger Leon has. I haven't really like played the game enough to feel the difference yet. But I think I know what you're talking about. If they made the knife... They made the knife like. Oh jeez, he's coming in. How can the knife be consumable? Do you just have to like find more knives? I don't know if I like that. That's definitely kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Oh, velvet blue. I think that's a. Sp Isn't that a spinel in the original game? I'm trying to remember. So I have just, uh, I've, I've played Resident Evil 4, like, kind of recently, because I found out there's this thing. I think it's called, like, the High Definition Retexture or whatever. These, these Spanish mad lads, like, made super ultra HD textures for the entire game, and it looks so good. So, like, I played the, the original one, too, not too long ago. Shotgun blast here. I need some ammo. 
You don't see the lose until the castle in the original? Yeah, that, that is true, isn't it? It must be a spinel in the, in the original. Dude, she just hit us with a freaking left hook. Did you see that? <laughs> oh! I must do slip. I gotta slip. I'm, I must do hatcha. Get out of here. I gotta break these... Break these ankles. Although I am gonna need some ammo pretty soon. Maybe she's gonna drop some. Ammo. It's crazy that the knife is a consumable now. Oh? This little red herb. Oh hey, I think this guy's dropped some ammo. Thank god. Please, 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 please. Here's just money. Okay, okay. Before Ichi products. Had some quality of life. Did it? I'm trying to remember what it had. Either way, it was such a good, such an insanely good mod. Can't believe how good it was. Although it does, it, it's a pretty huge file size. I think it's like 40 gigs. Which is crazy because the original Resident Evil 4 fit on a GameCube disc. But it looks so good. So the original Resident Evil is getting pretty old at this point. But with the with the texture, the Super HD textures, it actually looks really good. I think it goes to show that if you I guess if you just have like good models, then they can just come back and make like an HD version like pretty easily. That happens a lot with PS2 games. Some PS2 games, like the models are actually pretty good. It's just that like the the render um like the render resolution for the PS2 I think was 480. So if you if you use something like PCSX2 and then just render it in 1080p or higher or whatever. Some of those games look pretty great. Like Kingdom Hearts specifically. Kingdom Hearts looks insanely good. Can I just melee this guy here? I guess the same thing happened. I, yeah, actually, I guess the Resident Evil 4 was the same generation, GameCube, PS2. So it's like the models were solid. So if you just slap some some tasty looking textures on it. Still looks decent. I think a while, a while ago, way back and tried to replay Final Fantasy X, and of course I upscaled it on an emulator. And I was surprised at how good it looked. There's a lot of detail in some of those character models. Where's everybody going? Bingo? He better say it. If he doesn't say it... If he doesn't say it, 0 out of 10 remake. Leon, you, you better say it, Leon. You better say it, Leon! Where's everyone going? Okay, thank God. Bingo? Thank God. <laughs> Oh, an FOV slider, you're right! That's why this game feels weird, is because I just replayed the the HD mod with a better camera. It actually makes a huge difference, you're right. I like it I like it a lot better. But we just gotta just gotta make our make our do. Okay, let's let's look for some stuff. Bruce Secondor one. I've identified a route to the lake. Okay. Look for a large windmill. There's a path on the far side of it. Windmill. Copy that. And be careful. Roost out. Roost out. Do you think there's still the uh, the side quest for the... What's the gun you can get early on? Like getting the blue medals? Is that still in, you think? Is that the gun where you can, you can get like a slight amount of penetration? I can't remember. It's not my favorite, but it's like decent early game. Turning off quick time events. Sorry, not sorry. I don't hate quick time events, but I 
Oh, you can turn up the FOV in this game? Wait, really? Let's do that, actually. In display? Um, site settings, maybe fixed. Cinematic resolution, vertical sync. Rendering mode. Jeez, there's a lot of options. I appreciate that, actually. Let's turn Bloom off. I hate Bloom. I'm not sorry. I also don't like motion blur. If I'm being real with you guys, I think it looks like trash. Um, hmm. Accessibility, maybe? It presets for visual accessibility. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Um, camera. Natural camera speed, acceleration, detailed view. Field of view, here it is. All right, let's get the max, max possible. What's it look like on the min? Yeah, not, a, not a huge difference, but still, we'll, we'll take everything we can get. That's one of those things where it's like, maybe there's a mod for it, but for now, we'll just play it as is. We'll just play it as is. In camera, I did find it. There's a lot of options, though. I'm surprised. I like having options where you can turn off stupid stuff like motion blur and bloom. I swear to God, I wish I lived in a timeline where bloom was never invented. Makes me hate. Makes me hate video games. Like, have you guys ever seen Wind Waker on the GameCube? I think Wind Waker on the GameCube looks amazing. And then they remade Wind Waker, and they just like gave it this horrible bloom. It looks so ugly to me. So ugly, I like I actually just like I have to wonder who who looks at it and think it thinks it looks better. It's like what's wrong with you? Dramatic abrasion, true. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know what some of those things do. It's just like one of those. Oh, okay. This if Ashley's here. Like, what does chromatic aberration do? Rest in peace, this guy. Sick. Um, there might be something up here. Isn't this the ladder you can... It was super tall in the original game, and you can jump down it, and for some reason, Leon just does not take damage. But that happens, apparently. Can I still kill chickens for an egg? I wonder if it's worth it. So I lose a little bit of my knife durability. Uh, no egg. It sucks. We're gonna have to test the crow thing later. See if you can still cr kill a group of crows and uh, with the uh, the flashbangs. Did you get the goth outfit for Ashley? No, is there a goth outfit? Is that real? <laughs> Uh, are we talking big titty goth GF or like classic goth? I think we've picked through everything in the village. The village still feels like the original game. I'm pretty sure every building is like one to one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, the cow died. Rest in peace, Bessie. They let this happen, Bessie. Yeah, I think I think we found everything. I wonder, are there still rattlesnakes in boxes occasionally? That's like the mimic of Resident Evil. <laughs> Instead of mimic treasure chests, you have snakes in boxes. Sources, whatever that is. It's one of the casual outfits. Do you have to buy it with money? Like Titty Goth GF. Mm, that sounds that sounds pretty enticing. That sounds pretty appealing. The simple gamer mind is easily influenced by such things. Big Titty Goth GF. I am but a gamer after all. I am but a man. 
It's not my fault. In God's plan, he made the devil so much stronger than a man. That's a line from uh, freaking Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame. You guys ever seen that movie? Disney used to go hard. It's insane. This priest Frollo is just singing a song about how much he wants to smash Esmeralda. And of course, you know, he's a man of the cloth, so he's not allowed to. And he's just like, please, please, God, let me smack. Dude, Disney, Disney used to be... Used to be hard. They used to go hard in the paint. I would only watch Monsters Inc. Oh right, isn't that your favorite movie? There it is. Right there what is? Is this the part of the original game with the explosives, like a dynamite tied to the trees, or is that later? Okay. So, is this actually stealth? Like, if I crouch around, will people not see me? You know what Uncharted is? Yeah, I know what Uncharted is. I haven't played the recent ones, because I don't have a PS5 or whatever. But I played, uh, I played the first two, I think. Oh, oh no, wait, I know where this is. This is the place where the metal should be. Are the metals no longer in the game, I guess? Stealth kill. I think the next one was broken, though. It's bad. Count Frollo, there's a gypsy woman outside with no shoes on. Dude, Frollo, it's not his fault. <laughs> if in God's plan, he made the devil so much stronger than a man. No good. It's crazy to think how, how much Disney's fallen. Just making bangers like Hunchback of Notre Dame. Which, honestly, I don't know. Is it even a kid's movie? It had some pretty adult themes. Like, it's it's good for me watching it now. But, like, if I was a kid, I don't even know if I'd like Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's a very, it's a very mature, complex story. A lot of ins, a lot of outs. They are in the game? Okay. So I have to... I guess I have to find the note. How now, brown cat? How now? Actually, I kind of like the addition of the stealth kills. This is this feels kind of cool. So it's it's a it's a give and take. The knife is the knife has durability, but stealth kills are cool. Wait, is, is this the well in the first game where you can... Can't you get some sort of treasure here? I'm trying to remember. Wreck-It Ralph was your last? Yeah, Wreck-It Ralph was pretty good. I have to say I did enjoy it, even as an adult man. Older, older than I should be watching cartoons at, I suppose. Coraline was made for kids? Barely. Coraline's pretty scary. Oh, there it is! Okay, so there's there's one blue metal. Oh, there's only five? Okay, we gotta keep our eyes peeled. Thank god I'm not blue colorblind. Be tough. Oh, shoot thing on the windmill, but don't let it fall in the pond. Okay. Big windmill? Or the smaller windmill? Hmm, I actually don't see anything on the big one, so it must be the small one. Oh yeah, I see it, I see it. I see it. Borderline is a great movie, though. Okay, wait. So this, this side's the well, so I can shoot it when it's on the right side. Coraline is also when they still did, like... I don't think Coraline's claymation, is it? But it's still... Some sort of animation, right? Maybe it's like miniatures? Is it miniatures? I think it's miniatures. They hardly make things like that anymore. They're just ugly CG. 
I don't know how we ever thought CG was better than like hand drawn animation. It's crazy. Like you look at old hand drawn animated movies and it's like these these are so good looking. They're still so good looking. This must be it. You can take on tasks by collecting blue request notes. Oh what? There's like side quests? Destroy the blue medallions. For the love of God, will someone please get rid of the blue medallions? So those religious lunatics left hanging around. Okay, reward spinal times three. Nice. Monsters Inc. appeals to and awakens the inner child while standing to the mature needs of the contemplative wise and philosopher. <laughs> I want to see a video essay about Monsters Inc. Sam, if I, if I check your channel in a month and there's not a, a Monsters Inc. A video essay, I don't know, I don't know. Wait, I hear something beeping. Oh, I thought something was going to explode on me. Small Shed has a medallion inside? Okay, yeah, we need to go find the medallions. I'm assuming there's going to be some later on as well. Hey, hey, three streams in one day? Oh yeah, I'm on that grind. I'm on that grind! Somewhere in here? Oh, yeah. Yep, there it is, there it is. Okay, two out of five. I was a medallion. Where would I be? I think there used to be 15. There used to be one inside, like, the larger barn, I think. Yeah, okay, here it is, here it is. Maybe I have to be... Yeah, I have to be here. Nope, oh, be on the other side. Oh, wait, can I vault fences? Let's go. Okay. Farming some chicken eggs while we're here as well. It was animated miniatures. Okay, you gotta go? Alright, I'll see you, man. <laughs> On it. <laughs> see, that's what, that's what we gotta do. We gotta... We gotta foster creativity. That's what we do on this channel. We foster creativity. You guys watch my streams. I, I'll encourage you to make... Make stuff of your own. I'll watch that stuff. I don't have that key, obviously. Um... So do you guys know about the ultimate animated movie? What I consider to be, in my mind, the peak hand-drawn animated movie of all time is a humble little movie called Thief and the Cobbler. It's, uh, believe it or not, a one-man project? Sort of. It's complicated. So there's this, like, pretty famous animator, and his, his magnum opus was this thing called The Thief and the Cobbler, which he'd been working on for like 20 years by himself. And then he died during it. Super tragic. Didn't get to finish it. And then I believe some company, I think it was Disney, came in and finished it. But they kind of kind of messed it up. I mean, I, I don't hate the finished product. Okay, no, I don't have, don't have any knife juice left. No more knife juice. So that was the version that people knew for a long time. And it's still a masterpiece, even after being butchered by Disney or whoever, whoever picked it up, I can't remember. And then someone was able to cobble, that's funny if you've seen the movie, cobble together like what we believe to be the closest to the original version or the original vision. And that is just, it's a true masterpiece. I cannot believe how good it is. Hand-drawn animation is so pretty. Okay, how do I... Does this work? Okay, hey, crouching 10 out of 10. And think about how RE6 would be remade. Jake's campaign? Yeah, that makes sense. I don't think I ever played through all of RE6. I remember watching a friend play it, and I was like, ooh, this looks pretty tone deaf. Okay, how do I rotate? Ew. Let's make a. Make a nice juicy. Oh yeah, we'll save that for a rainy day. We'll get a nice one of these going on. What what do resources do? I don't know what that is. You can loot the tripwires? Or cut. Hmm. Can I cut them without a knife? Is that what F does? Okay, cool. Nice. 
Nice. Once I finish Gregory Goes for a Walk, I'll make Monsters in video. What is Gregory Goes for a Walk? Is that your, is that your current project? Oh, is this a new puzzle? I don't remember this. Okay, so I have to get the mill going. Very cool. So they're actually adding stuff. It's not just a just a remake. Should I drop down here? Doesn't look like I can get back up. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Wait a minute. Someday right. I guess that's why you can kick these now. Otherwise, <laughs> if you didn't have a knife, you wouldn't be able to open them. I hear something. Okay, I feel like there should be a medal here, or a medallion. I don't want to miss it. Let's drop down like this. What am I? What am I hearing? God damn! Whoa! This is new. It's a uh, minotaur. Oh, I can duck. I can duck underneath. That's so cool. Oh, I gotta quick kick him in the head. Kick him in the head. Let's go. Oh, it's not as cool as I was hoping. I've got my shoddy. Nice, solid shot. Just thick meat shots. Nice, we got him. Okay. That was pretty stylish. Alright, break through this guy. Wait, what? I thought this guy's dead! <laughs> no, get off me! I can't believe I died to that, especially after the slick takedown of the Minotaur guy. That sucks. Rigor goes for a walk my video game I'm making? Whoa. Done all the sprite work, design, and soundtrack. Dang, what, what engine are you making it in? Okay, well, at least we didn't have to replay this whole this whole section. You know what I was thinking? If I ever went full time on YouTube, which probably not, not even close. But I was thinking if I went full time on YouTube, my side project would be a video game, like a small scale video game. Because right now, YouTube is my side project. But if YouTube is my main gig, then I could have I could have another side project, and I would make a game. Wait, the knife scratch? Shit, don't even know scratches. Um, knife can cut off limbs. Whew, that's close. Very close. Uh oh. <laughs> I think Alias just fell asleep on the keyboard. <laughs> All your messages got deleted. <laughs> uh, our mod has too much power. One down. That guy looked like really normal. Uh oh. Oh, that's a brutal hit. That was a brutal hit. Alright, walk it off again. Walk it off. <laughs> yeah, so I guess Alias accidentally deleted your message, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dom. So you'll have to you'll have to retype it. What can I say? You know, I don't pay my mods. It's free labor. 
can't complain too much. Whew, that was close. What a battle. Alright, let's take our, our yummy. Nice, alright, so we, we got more max health now. Fully topped off. Found a medallion. Okay, we have one more medallion. I'm guessing it is here somewhere. I'm just gonna find it. Let's find a medallion here. Kitchen knife. Oh, is there gonna be like types of knives? Do I have to equip it? Examine. A knife made for cooking. Wait, it has stats? Oh my god. <laughs> they went hard with this. This is too offended now. Yeah, Ailey's killed him. Rest in peace. Come back, Mr. Dom, please. Ruby? Okay. Oh, there we go. The knife can cut off limbs and enemies try to grab or punch you. Okay, I guess I gotta shoot this. Oh. <laughs> it was a waste. Alright, waste of a bullet. Waste of a bullet. Um. Uh, wasted around there. Dude, you guys remember, um... I don't know, you kind of have to be online a lot for, for this, but... There's this funny, like, beef between Moist Critical and this guy, Sneeko. And there was this part where Sneeko was calling this thing a clip, and then Charlo's like, that's a magazine. And he, like, pulls out, like, a bunch of guns. So the other day, I was watching this this new Moist Critical video, and he had a new little new little reaction clip. So I commented, uh, new, new Moist Critical clip just dropped. And then a whole bunch of people just commented, just like, it's a mag. And I was like, oh, you got me. You got me good. Got me good with that one. Alias member for three months. Hey, what's good? Three months is a long time. <laughs> watch my clips, watch my clips. <laughs> okay, where is this last medallion? God damn it. Okay. So we had one in there. One over there. If I was the last medallion, where would I be? Maybe on the other side of the windmill. Maybe we have to go a little bit further. Okay, let's, let's get back in here. Have you guys ever learned about the importance of mills to the development of human society? Mills are insanely OP. Because you can automate what would be a brutal process for humans to do by hand. Thanks to the power of either water or wind. <laughs> Watch my cliff. Pursue my mag. Okay, so you guys know. I guess you all know. I thought maybe you had to be online chronically to know the those those lores. Okay, let's check this out. Flagon. Nice. Finding treasures. Oh, I know about that. Played the original RE games. Okay, okay. What if I just kicked it really hard, though? Oh, wait, this is here? I'm so turned around now. Uh, fact that Sneeko called Charlie a school shooter? Wait, did he really? I don't even remember that now. I'm trying to come after one of the most respected men. Yeah, you're just not going to win that fight, unfortunately. If you go after Mr. Moist himself, it's, it's going to be bad. Flag on instead of beer mug? Yeah, it is a weird kind of old fashioned word. If you're having trouble finding the medallion, you can check your map. Wait, really? How do I check my. Huh? You become lost. Wait, it actually is on the map. You, Jatoya, with the assist. Thank you, Jatoya. Um, I just have to be able to read a map. But yeah, so the final medallion is here. Oh. There it is. Nice. 
Okay, so now that we've completed the quest, what do we do? And wait, did the map show a treasure? Oh, yeah, I guess it's this thing, obviously. But we don't have the key. Hmm. Replace the beer sign. Oh, yeah, you're right. It, it was a beer sign. More traditional German thing. This is with flagon, which is a strange word. Probably medieval in origin. Sneako, more like cucko. <laughs> uh, you know, I never understand why, uh... Sneaker tries to act so tough when he's like, he looks like he weighs like a buck fifteen, soaking wet. Like if he's wearing a wool sweatshirt, he's in the pool. It's raining. There's a monsoon. He would weigh maybe one twenty. I don't know. I mean, I I am truly privileged from being a large, tall man, of great stature. Because you know, it's hard to it's hard to make me feel threatened. But like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Why would you try to talk hard when you look like that? Respectfully smash the like button. Respectfully. 120 is pretty heavy. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not, my friend. <laughs> okay, where am I supposed to go? I'm feeling stupid. Um, how do I get the cog to raise this gate? Is it back in the village? I'm not seeing any visual clues here. What's this? What's this? Exclamation point here. Back on the wall. Okay, second floor of the mill? Okay. I do that conversion. 54 kilograms. Yeah, it's... It's not much. I think we're at the point in America where like your average female weighs like a hundred, more than 150, probably like 160. Which I don't know. That's that's like a different story. That's that's a different problem for America. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've collected a cog here. Oh, I did. When did I pick this up? Actually, just stupid. I'm pretty sure the average male in America weighs like 180. So 120 is is definitely underweight. And as a an influencer or whatever Sneeko is, presumably does not have a real job. He's got plenty of time to be going to the gym. He'll be hitting that hitting the gym. I was so shocked when I realized I no longer weigh 70 pounds like five years ago. <laughs> Did you release me 70 pounds? That's crazy. Oh, I hope this bridge doesn't collapse. I mean, obviously, at one point in my life, I weighed 60 pounds because you don't you don't get born weighing your adult weight. But 70 pounds is that's that's a long time ago. That is a long time ago. I might, I might have missed it over here. Assuming this is closed off, right? Yeah. I'm trying to backseat game. No, I appreciate the help. It's actually I'm not gonna say streaming is super hard. It's a little hard trying to be entertaining and also catch everything in the game at the same time. So it's it's nice to have the assist from chat sometimes. It's it's nice. I've noticed that I, I have a harder time playing action games. So I've played a lot of more laid-back stuff on stream. We played a lot of Mario, which doesn't require the most brain power. But whenever I try to play stuff that's more involved, I just get kind of spaced out. I lose focus. Did you finish the Layton game? Yeah, we beat the Layton game finally. It was a good game. I'm so impressed with Layton. Oh. <laughs> okay. Something happened. I think I missed what was going on there. Uh, Alright, we'll take this side. Side path here. Oh, jeez. Wait. 
Is this the boulder sequence? Did they take that out? How could they? They took off the uh, they took out the the press buttons to run faster. Yeah, this is the point where the boulder would have stopped. That's so sad. No Indiana Jones section. How could they? <laughs> hardest job on the planet. Streaming truly is the hardest job on the planet. Probably got something from killing those bats, but it's fine. You know something annoying about original RE4? Enemies wouldn't get snared in their own traps? Really? I guess I never thought about it. Can you still knife these shut? Oh, that's close. God damn it. <laughs> I guess not. Alright. Didn't do that much damage, it's fine. Just, let's just loot this. Okay. Now, I remember this area. This is where we first encounter uh, Luis, right? I assume Luis is still in the game. There's no way they took out the goat. Oh, look at that! He did get caught in his own trap! I think we're, we're fine on headshots right now since we don't have the uh, Lost Plaga to worry about. Can I knife this guy? What's, what's going on here? I think the one difference between this and the original is... See how this guy's following me with, like, a broken neck? In the original game, it's actually not clear that there's anything, like, strictly paranormal going on until... I guess until the giant river monster. Up until that point, it's just, like, kind of crazy villagers, right? Not necessarily zombies. But this guy is a straight-up zombie, so... That's just one, one sort of thematic difference, I would say. Oh, nailed there. I want the melee hit. I want the melee hit. The one's too slow. I get the knife out. Wait, my knife's already broken? My shitty kitchen knife? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I need to use it. Where is it? Oh. Keep coming. Oh. Please have some ammo here. Money. That was weird. Turn into black smoke. <laughs> you can use the stab move by aiming with the knife first. Okay, wait. How? What's the button for aiming with the knife on the PC? Okay, Q is kick turn. Quick turn. He's crouch. What's ready knife? Game's cool one-liner should be get ready for my alter ego, the boom puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's not it's not bad. Oh I didn't notice there was a stick of dynamite next to me. We wasted our red green herb. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just wanna reload this section. It feels cursed. It feels cursed. I don't have a knife, I can't do that. Let's see. Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. I want to replay this section. Oh. Weapon of choice in a zombie apocalypse? Uh, I think it would, it would strongly depend on what kind of zombies they are. Are they like fast zombies? Are they zombies where you're contagious from one bite? Or is it zombies where you die and you become a zombie? Because if it's the... If it's the bite transmission zombies, to go to the old internet classic of constructing armor made out of soda bottles. Think about it. Human teeth cannot penetrate the plastic of a soda bottle. So all you have to do to construct a lightweight, borderline invincible armor is empty out a couple of two liters of Diet Coke or your drink of choice or whatever. 
tape those up on you, and boom, you're you're close to invincible to zombies. And the armor weighs what? Maybe a couple ounces? <laughs> and then weapon of choice? I guess you can be whatever you want. I think I would go with a sledgehammer. Knife is broken, but it's typically L1, LB. Yeah, but I'm not playing on a controller. I'm on keyboard. You mean bioterrorism related? Supernatural means ghosts. Yeah, I mean... I feel like there is kind of supernatural stuff in Resident Evil. Maybe. I'm trying to think what the stuff in 7 was. Like the fungus that can cause weird... God damn it. Just kill me. Uh, uh. We'll play it out, we'll play it out. Some resources, whatever that is. Okay, never mind. Just kill me. Just kill me. Restart the section. Just... There we go. Perfect. Wait, what do you mean human teeth can't penetrate that? There's no way. Even if you can penetrate one layer of my soda bottle armor, you can't penetrate two layers. And I can wear two layers of soda bottle armor. Okay, I gotta focus up. I gotta focus up. Let me read chat and then I'll dive into this. And here's something interesting. It's the crossed? If it's the cross, everyone's screwed? Oh, true. Mold. Yeah, the mold. Is the mold not supernatural? The mold could do some pretty crazy stuff. I mean, fungus is cool, but is it that cool? Resident Evil's my relax game. You know, it's kind of true. Resident Evil has some of the most relaxing rooms of all time. Save rooms in Resident Evil 4 are probably top 10 comfy spots in any video game. Maybe top five comfy spots. I would have a hard time beating them. There's actually something about horror games where they can have comfier spots because of the contrast between the horror and the, the comfy. Like Silent Hill, Silent Hill 2, despite being absolute nightmares, they have some comfy spots and some comfy music. You know what I was thinking about playing on stream? is uh, this old game called Haunting Ground. It's this horror game that I've seen... Oh, no! <laughs> that was, like, stuck on me. It's this horror game that I've seen talked about a lot that I've never played, and it came out, I think, around the same time as some of like, those classic horror games. You play as, like, this girl in a castle. And I don't think you have direct combat abilities. But it looks pretty cool. And so that was like what I might call the golden era of horror games. Let's see about playing that on stream and seeing how cool it is. But there there was a sweet spot for golden for like golden era horror games. Whereas like Silent Hill, Resident Evil. Just a bunch of crazy stuff. Classics. But I think we did okay this time. Cool rusty areas in Silent Hill have some nice music. Yeah, they really do. Silent Hill soundtrack, actually, both the original and two, have some incredibly comfy tunes that I will go back and listen to. God damn it. I'm so sad. I'm the saddest man to ever live. Let's drink my yummy red green. I can't remember if it's Silent Hill 1 or 2, but they have just some like ambient tracks. And the ambient tracks are just like. I can just like zone out to them. Just have. <laughs> but, I, but I can zone out to those tracks and just have like an hour pass in the blink of an eye. I swear. God damn it! 
Uh, okay. Please. Is it over? Where is this dynamite chucker? I cannot find them. Safe over here? Possibly? This looks like a little, little hobbit hole over here. Oh my god. It's my salad toss. Where is this person? Are they like not even. I'm super low on ammo. I saw it just an instant too late. Oh! Okay, I need a vantage point. Need a vantage point. Let's get up here. Find the culprit throwing the freaking dynamite. It was you. 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 You wretched, wretched old, nasty, terrible, terrible. And I don't have the insults late at night. On, on lack of sleep. <clears throat> oh. Want to see Party Phil? Wait, what? Party Phil from We Party? Return for a horror sequel called Silent Phil? <laughs> Gunshots are relaxing. In the right context, they can be relaxing. Does everyone just carry dynamite on them? Actually, just get out of here with the dynamite. I need to go back and look for ammo. Mm hmm. Resident Evil ASMR. Yeah, for me, Resident Evil wouldn't be ASMR, but you could definitely do, like, Silent Hill. I remember one time I found this video where it was, like, it was just sounds of war, but, like, muffled, like you were listening to it through a wall, and, like, distant. And then I think it was playing, like, Ave Maria, but quietly. And it was actually bizarrely relaxing. It's like, that's... That's weird. It probably should not be a relaxing sound, and yet it was. Um, I'm playing on standard. And I'm feeling, feeling good about that decision, because it kind of suck. It's just hard to play action games on stream. Yeah, we need another key. Or maybe we need the same key. We need to take it to two different places. No, no trap here. Can I shoot the dynamite in his hand? Let's go. Wait. The lake is here? What? Okay, they, they definitely changed the geography from the first game, right? That's not how it works. Right? Actually, I'm not sure. I'm second guessing myself now. Uh, everything can be ASMR? <laughs> no. <laughs> ASMR. Um, <laughs> what are those really funny ones where they're like, uh, hey, what are you listening to? And then they say like the name of a song, and then they drop their phone or whatever, and he picks it up and he's like, ASMR, mommy's best boy? <laughs> All right, where's my boat? Maybe over here. Hardcore mode, I'd only recommend on New Game Plus. Yeah, true. Just don't have the skill to play that on stream. Um, 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 um. Infinite Rocket Launcher would be cool, but we're a long ways from getting that. All right, time to check my handy dandy map. Looks like we're headed. Here, I guess. Oh. Oh. No. Alright, so we need a key for this. Just stupid. <clears throat> Listening to Gymnopedie. Your neighbor's playing it on a rainy day. Yeah, that actually sounds like a pretty fire. ASMR track. Good old Eric Satie. Where would we be without him? 
without the gymnopedie, we would just be we'd be lost. Okay. We can find some keys. Okay, safely disarmed. Shoot the lake? Wait, really? Does that do something? What is the XD? Okay. I'll try it out, I'll try it out. We can waste we can waste one round on this. Just anywhere in the lake? I assume this boss battle is going to be the same as the original because I see the things you have to you have to gore him on. What's this guy's name? I don't know the name of this creature. So this one anti ASMR where is a man? Oh, I saw that. Yeah, the Spider Man guy where he just like takes a cheese grater and he just starts scratching the mic with it. <laughs> oh, that shit's so funny. Dude, my sense of humor has just been fried. I don't know why I find that funny, but I do. If you shoot it a few times, Del Largo will come and eat you. Wait, really? Okay, I actually don't want that to happen. I remember the first time I played this game, I was... Why, why, did, why did Leon not look at the... the important side of this? Leon? Am I not understanding the controls here? Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> no, but the first time I played this game, I was I was so young that the lake monster, whatever his name is, the Largo? Is that his real name? He scared me so badly. It's actually terrifying. <laughs> and some are screaming and telling me I'm physically unable. Do you remember that one kid that like got semi-famous because he did stupid stuff like I'll say Mr. Beast? 10,000, or like 100,000 times. And he would just say Mr. Beast for like 8 hours. And by the end, he just like can't say anything. He's completely hoarse. No! Wait! Oh, it's fine? <laughs> uh, I'm too slick. Get shit on dumbass. Okay. Remember, if someone's trying to hurt you, just do a scripted action, and then they can't actually, they can't harm you. So if you have a bully or something that's gonna come and beat you up, just start doing one of the uh, pre-scripted actions. It'll be fine. A little life tip for you. Oh, dude, this thing, this thing's not supposed to appear for way later. Isn't this the thing that appears in the the dumpster in? It is in the. In the labs, right? Oh, wait, this is how you find Lewis? What? He's supposed to be in a cabinet. That hurts, you know. It seemed like you really wanted to talk. How observant, Senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got to smoke? <laughs> no, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just untie me then, huh? No, smoking gives you back HP. We just oh, learned man. that in uh. Not this guy. Who are you? Oh shoot! Stop right there. <laughs> he just slapped my gun out. He's like, nah, I don't care. Oh, this is where he gets injected in this one? I feel like we're accelerating like the timetable of this game. It's weird. ASMR Warrior dies in a car crash. <laughs> That's funny. Time for some sassy banner. Yeah, he just wants a Siggy. It's the Undertaker. He does look like the Undertaker. I forgot this guy's name. This guy was also extremely terrifying to me when I first played this game. So I was like seven years old or whatever. But when you fight him in the, the showdown, in the boss battle, I could like barely play it. It was that scary. Chapter results? I don't want to look. What? 
Completion points can be used to purchase items in the extra content shop. What? What is this? Are, are these like missions I can complete? Oh. Oh, okay, cool. I guess. Oh, I just I wanna continue. The hat has an amazing hat on. Yeah. Sacrificial lamb. Well actually. Did he have a hat in the original? Our most sacred body. It begins now. Wait, that's what Sadler sounds like? I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Oh, what the fuck? Hey! Stop it! Hey, Yankee. Wait, this did Chainsaw Guy's actually named Dr. Salvador? Leon. Mr. Prophet, can you see me song of your ancestors? I could, but my voice is quite hoarse. Guess you, me, picked the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Hey, stop it! All right. You move. After a gamer sip, maybe I can. Beat up enough cities. That's one from Dune. Spots like this before. It's crazy how Dune has that banger, which is uh, some guy screaming, or maybe it's a woman. I'm not sure. One more guess. Maybe. Ah, 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 ah. Now. All right. Let's see. I heard chatter about moving, senorita. Was that so? Where? Where? Who knows? But later, saw some men dragging someone <laughs> to the old church. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are bantering while getting the job done. Not healthy. Oh. Dude, they're too good. These guys work so well together. It's like they've, they've been in covert ops for decades. What the hell? Ooh. That was kind of cool. So in the original game, Leon just does like a cool backflip and then kicks this guy to death. But I actually kind of like this better. Hey, we're not done here. Later, amigo. <laughs> I kind of like how uh, Luis looks in this one. I took my gear. He looks a little weird in the first one. Shoot, they took my stuff. But not my, not my pager. Condor one to roost. I've located Baby Eagle. It sounds like she's being kept in some Leon. church. Leon! Great. That's good news. I heard it from this guy I met. Said his name is Luis Serra. There's something fishy about him. I need you to run a background check. We'll call Condor One. I'll see what I can find. In the meantime, make your way to that church. Right. I'm probably due for confession anyway. <laughs> Condor One, out. Alright, that's a good line. I like that. <laughs> Probably do for confession anyway. I think that's a new one. I don't think that's in the original. Hey, oh, it's this area. Okay. Do I still get the fishies down there? Fishing for fishy? Leon! Hey, what's Ashley gonna sound like? Oh no, wait. I guess this isn't the same area. We got a kitchen knife. Perform knife attacks with left click. You can also deliver quick stabbing attacks with holding space. Okay. Dude, I'm still shook. I'm still shook they made the knife freaking durable. Have durability. Has durability ever been a fun mechanic in video games? And I know people are gonna say Dark Souls has durability, but like, is it? Is it fun though? Is it fun? Sneaking. Mm, self kills. Okay. I think Dark Souls Two may have the king of all unfun durability mechanics. I don't know if it's still this way, but in the original Dark Souls 2 patch, when it first came out, there's this weapon called Santir's Spear, I think? 
and it had like a trillion durability. It was disgusting. But if you broke it, which was nearly impossible, you actually have to like hit against the wall for like two hours. It became a different weapon. That weapon was like giga, giga broken in my gear. Uh, like the multiplayer. And no one knew about it at first because it was such a bizarre thing to do. So I think to that to this day, that's the least fun durability mechanic ever made. Where it's like if you just like bang this weapon against the wall for two hours, you have a mega OP weapon that can kill everyone in one hit. <laughs> Eventually they nerfed it, but it was it was disgusting. Oh. I did not. I didn't think that was how it's gonna go down. Parrying. Okay, if you have a knife, you can parry an attack with space when the prompt appears. Cool. You can successfully parry even if you press it right before the prompt appears. Time it right and the enemy will stagger. Nice. What was that noise? Okay, I think it's rats. It sounded like someone faking like a kissing noise. You know, when they're just like... Leon's superpower is... <laughs> Calling background checks from his schizophrenic hallucinations and told him to save the president's daughter. True. You'd be overpowered if it did not have durability with the parry mechanic. That's true, I didn't know about the parry mechanic. Dark Souls 2 durability was tied to frame rate. Oh, you're right! I remember that! Dark Souls is so goofy. There was a lot of stuff tied to frame rate. How do I, how do I deactivate these? Can I just not? What if I just kicked it really hard? God damn it! <laughs> I swear you could break these with your knife in the first game, or the original. Hold space and stab? Okay, I'll try it. I'll try it. Oh, you have to stab instead of the sweeping attack. Why is it different? See, I bet we can kill this rat for an item, but I won't do it because I love rats. Can't tell me rats aren't cute. I mean, maybe the big New York rats are not perhaps as cute as the nice little white lab mice. But I don't want to kill my rat friends. Oh, wow. Kind of brutal. <laughs> Just stab that guy in the neck and take his money. Oh man. I think pretty soon we're gonna have the first encounter with the merchant, right? Let's go get my stuff. Oh, it's a good opportunity to claim the kill. Red meat is tasty? No, don't say that. It's locked. Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah. Okay. I vault this? Yes. Easy. Nice. I got my stuff back. Okay. Um I'll be taking these back. And a bunch of knives. Probably gonna have to clear up our inventory. Let's put this here. Actually, you know what? This is nice. It's a nice time for an egg. What's his resource do? Can be combined with gunpowder, create a variety of ammo. Oh, okay. So I can just make, I can just make stuff right now because I have some gunpowder. Okay, maybe I should do that. Maybe that's what I should have been doing this whole time. So, craft. So, five gunpowder plus one resource equals 22 ammo. Let's do it. Nice. Okay. This is secretly the best part of the whole game. Just like rearranging stuff in your inventory. Put that here, put this here. Will I eat meat in an apocalypse scenario? Yeah, I mean, I would eat if I had to to survive. The thing is, we just don't, just don't have to right now, you know. 
We're not in that situation. We're, we're in pretty much the comfiest time ever, if you think about all of the all the times to be alive. <laughs> Doesn't get much nicer than living in America right now. I mean, you could live in America in the 70s, or like 60s, that is slightly nicer, but... Dude, we have it pretty good. Let's, let's get out of here. <laughs> Rats are delicacies. <laughs> My house is where. Uh, Sam Bringle, ever with the uh, eating disgusting things. Over here, stranger. Here he is. Stranger, stranger. It's a weapon. What are you buying? What are you selling? Let's do some business then, eh? Is he Australian now? Welcome. Okay. Merchant request. Oh, this is the guy who's giving me quests. Okay. <laughs> well done. You've proven yourself reliable. Three spinels, something please. new for you, Um, alright, so what's our first purchase? Bolt thrower. Is this new? Why not try your hand at a new gun, strength? Too expensive. Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay. S standard power, high power. So we can get the rifle. I don't love the rifle, but it is nice to have for the next section. I'm trying to think. Maybe let's just get a new attaché case. You can't go wrong with that. A bit more space never hurt anyone. It's a very generic Perfect purchase, but you, uh, no, wait, let's sell our thing? sell our spinels. Use key items. We can sell use key items. Rubbish, it makes no difference. The price, well, uh, where's my choice to make? Wait, are, are spinels gone? Are there just velvet blues now? A deal well struck. We'll, we'll leave it there for now, Mr. Merchant. Remember the days of spending five minutes to sort your inventory and would die and then have it resorted? Yeah. Remember those times. Those are good times. Sorting your inventory is like the best part of the game. Okay. How are requests coming along? You know, you can trade spinels. Wait, there are spinels. Okay. These maps detail the location of the cult's chairs, hidden treasures. Took me and the lads a lot of time to find them. These maps are handy. Cool. Give me the map. Hmm. Although America can be pretty Hello, awful. Stranger. Yeah, there are parts of America that are like insanely bad. Where it's like you're living, it's like it's just suddenly a different country. And you're like, this is America? Have you guys seen those videos of Kensington Avenue in Philadelphia? That's one of those such places. It's like you're chilling in America and then suddenly you turn a, you turn a corner and you're like in... The hell am I? Just the worst place you can imagine in the world. An open air drug market. People are zombies. Okay, we have a good amount of kitchen knives, so I can be knifing people, right? So I've got three, I think? Plus the one I have equipped. First time I played, I never got the rifle. It's going great until I got the regenerators. Yeah, that's true. I think you, you borderline have to have it for the regenerators, right? That was another thing that was unbelievably scary to me as a kid. Hearing the regenerators breathe. They're just nasty, like... I'm not even sure if my mic picks up breathing sounds, but... I just tried to imitate the regenerators. Won't open. See, this is one of the places where I think having the rifle is really good. Because you can, you can neutralize the threats before you even see them. Yeah. Not bad, right? Not bad. So true. Give me a break I think I just realized you can move while shooting. <laughs> I'm so locked into my Resident Evil original experience that kitchen knife in the neck. Wow, I just blew that guy's arms up. <laughs> I'm just gonna 
shoddy action here. Oh. Oh. Am I dead? Okay. I have to get a... I have to top myself off here. Okay. My guy's helping me in No, no. <laughs> that dynamite's awfully close to my face. Alright, right, I think that's... That wasn't the best... Wasn't the best sequence, but we, we survived. Heard Los Angeles is pretty bad? Yeah, Los, Los Angeles... I didn't see any bad. It's sad, too, because... LA used to be like such a cool city. And I'm sure some of it still is, but man, last time I was in LA, I was like, this is disgusting. San Francisco is kind of the same way, except for I didn't I never cared for San Francisco. <clears throat> Stylish fingerless gloves. Yeah, Leon is he's a pretty boy. He's gotta have all the uh all of the accessories, all of the accoutrements. Okay, I think I'm gonna kill this guy with his barrel. Might as well, right? Oh wait, is there another sequence? Maybe I can kill more people. Don't mind me, don't mind me! Okay, I think I can get more than one with this barrel. I time this right? A little bit closer. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got two. That's that's all right. Somewhat efficient. <laughs> I just realized that's two minutes behind the live stream. Yeah, I feel like it happens sometimes when people just be making comments. And I'm like, hmm, you might have to hit the live button. I didn't guess where the lost pockets were in the body to kill him. Dang, that's, that's pretty base. Yeah, without the scope, I guess you have no choice. Oh my god, this is still going right now. <laughs> where did that guy come from? <laughs> he just dropped out of nowhere. <laughs> what was that? Mysterious Skyman. Kick him, I wanna kick him! Let's go. Let's just finish this guy with the knife. I think we've earned it. We've earned it right kill. I just had a city my banish shack in the forest. Hell yeah. Based in. Freaking Unabomber build. Oh, it's gonna kill me! No! No, we were doing so well! Sort of. Kind of. Out again, necessities, hunting and gathering, and stealing a bit too. Yeah, stealing milk. I read this article about this guy who lived in almost complete isolation for like 30 years. And he would just come down occasionally and like steal things from people. And that's how he survived. Wait, what? Why am I here? Where, where am I? Huh? Fused. Okay, so I come down here. Okay, this is... This is the start of things. Yeah, he like didn't didn't speak to anyone for like 30 years or something. And then the person who was writing the article about him like found him. So I think eventually he went to jail for stealing stuff. And the person writing the article was like, so are there any are there any secrets that you gain being um, a hermit? And the guy was like, yeah, but why would I tell you? <laughs> You're not a hermit, you didn't earn those secrets. It's a game. The secret sauce you can only earn from not speaking to a human for 30 years. I suppose those are his secrets. Right? Whatever, just kill me. Let me start this. We can, we can play the sequence better. This is terrible.
You are dead. Understandable. Let's do this again, but better. Which game started the yellow mark? Things are interactable. It might have been Resident Evil. I'm pretty sure it is Resident Evil that started it. But now a lot of games are doing it, and it's, it's so embarrassing. It's like how small, how small are gamers' brains? Where we we have to be like specifically, specifically told with yellow paint. It's like this is this is how to to progress in this game. Find the yellow paint. We might take a little shock in here. Put that sound on my side. Nice! We were totally cheesing this encounter. This is how we should have been playing it from the start. Mario with the question blocks? <laughs> it's not the same thing. Wait, do we have... See, I have like the freaking Call of Duty grenade indicator. I just noticed that. Man, that still damaged me. I had the wall. Okay. Okay, I still, I still think this is going pretty well. As long as I don't take damage from that. Yeah, I think we're fine here. Let's let's pop out now. Okay, that's everybody from the first encounter. Now let's get to the let's see if we can make it through the second one. Wow, this guy is extremely dead. Very, very dead. You can see the last Plagas though, that's that's nasty. Is there a word for like, um, you know how you can be like, uh, what's the word? Tryptophobia? Is there one of those for like being afraid of parasites? I feel like that's a very, very common phobia. Shooting enemies on bridges is also great cheese. Yeah, it's a classic technique here. Um, so I never really think that Call of Duty might have influenced FPS and TPS games in the industry. Yeah. I mean, let's be real, it was a it was a huge game. Can't deny the influence it's had. I need to take care of this guy early. There we go. Just get him out of the way. Entomophobia? Oh, so there is a word? Yeah, Parasite's freaking out. I feel like that's actually one of the main reasons I don't eat meat. You ever read about all those nasty parasites you get from, like, eating pork? Not that you would, as long as it's prepared correctly, but... Possible, you know, it's possible. Minthphobia? Parasites find me inhospitable. True. <laughs> All you have to do is cultivate just internal bacteria so powerful and evil that the, the parasites cannot cannot take root. Wow. That felt like a nasty hit. I wonder if I should be using my knife Sorry, must have slipped. Yeah, I was gonna parry that. Maybe it makes sense you can't parry just like a, a punch. Next. Huh? 
can watch a specific part of Chainsaw Man? Is it in like the stand with the Rainbow Parasite? Wait, CSM? Is that Chainsaw Man? Wait, Rainbow Parasite? I don't remember that part. I thought you hated Chainsaw Man anyway. You know how your mom says, don't touch that, you know where it's been. I will always rest easy knowing I'm the worst place it will ever be. Let's see, that, that is one strategy, right? That's me when people are like, aren't you afraid of the dark? It's like, no. I'm the worst thing out there. There was a long period of my life where I liked taking night walks. And occasionally I would encounter... It's hard to believe, I know, but there are women in the wild. And when you're on a night walk and there, there's a woman out there, I can you can feel the tension in the air raise. That was my... <laughs> that was my job for a while, just terrifying women. <laughs> I'd just be, you know, having a great time walking, and then they're trying to do the same thing, right? But they don't know me. Strange man. Large. Intimidating. Scary. And I just feel... I feel my presence causing them unease. Not bad, right? Seen something in opening had this weird parasite on floor? Really? I don't actually remember that. I like Chainsaw Man, me too. Although I don't love the anime. I'm a Chainsaw Man manga. Manga enjoyer. And honestly, part two has not been hitting for me so far. Although I haven't read like the past ten chapters, so maybe it's gotten better. Chainsaw Man part one manga is like so good. Part two has not hit for me yet. They keep coming. I'm sure there's still plenty of time for it to get better, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sorry, must have slipped. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Easy dodge. Easy dodge. No. <laughs> I got cocky. Maybe we do a little shotgun here. Jeez, I'm running out of ammo for these clowns. No! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! I'm doing too good. Oh my god. Oh, just get off me. Bring on faster, Leon! One down. Seriously, leave me alone. The anime? Um, I just, like, I just don't love the new, um, what do you call it? Like, partially CG. I'm a huge fan of traditionally animated, so... I'll just, I'll just never, I'll never prefer CG. There have been, like, some really good anime in like the past couple of years so like one punch man season one i feel like he's animated so well imagine if one punch man season one animation but on chainsaw man that would be that would be insane i feel like that would be like one of the most popular anime of all time or even like demon slayer demon slayer is animated really well so i would always prefer to watch a show that looked like that as opposed to the, the CG. Now Chainsaw Man, like, it did it pretty well. Like, it wasn't wasn't the worst. It was probably on the better side, actually. But still. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, we're fine, we're fine. Story didn't hit for you? No, it's gotta be a speed reader problem, I'm telling you. It was definitely artful. Too many people use it as a shortcut. It was definitely artful CG? Wait, okay. Too many people use it as a shortcut. Failed to make it as artful? Yeah. It's just, it's a lot cheaper. And in a situation like Chainsaw Man, where I feel like you know the enemy's gonna hit, why not just like spend the extra money? Like I understand with something super niche, like Doro Head Doro, which is like another CG anime that like I like. 
I don't love because the manga is like a million times better. The manga is just like so good. But I also have to admit that the, the manga would be very difficult to adapt just because of the style. It's like very like messy. Raw. It has that raw energy. A small key. Are these keys generic? Huh. But it's like, I, I understand it more with something like Doro Heidoro, where it's like super niche, not not very well known, so like we can't spend a ton of money on it, right? But Chainsaw Man? Like, Chainsaw Man was huge before the anime. I just don't understand. Why not spend, why not spend at least One Punch Man Season 1 money on it? If not Demon Slayer money. It's like, look at how popular Demon Slayer is. Did you guys read that thing where it's like a single volume of Demon Slayer? outsold the entire American comic book industry. It's like, it's insanely popular. And maybe part of the reason it's popular is because it looks so good. We have hexagonal emblem. Oh. What? Where? From where? I don't, I don't see, I don't see. Where is this person? It's like when you hear boss music, but you don't know what's happening yet. Where is she? Oh, what, all the way over here? Are you kidding me? They keep coming. Okay, finally. Finally. Okay, CG's a lot more exp wait, CG's more expensive? This is terrible. That that can't be true. Why would they ever use it? If that's true, that's horrible. That makes me upset. But I hear dynamite! Where? Let's see here. Fine. Get out of here. Oh, did I already crank this? Okay, we're fine. <clears throat> did I expend my key for that, or do I still have it? It's unclear what happened. I want cockroachy, almost gross animation. Yeah, I do get what you're saying. It's just, it's not going to happen. As much as you and I may love Dodo Hedoro, it's not as broad or general appeal. Isn't season two confirmed though? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I remember that. I read it. I don't like Demon Slayer. The characters are way too generic. Yeah. I've had to give this speech before to the chat and they, they didn't like hearing it. But like, as much as I love the Demon Slayer animation and anime, the story is... It is so boring. Like, Demon Slayer is the most generic shonen, except for My Hero Academia. The characters are super annoying. There's, there's like, no new ground being broken in terms of, like, character archetypes. I do like... I like Tanjiro better than, like, Deku. I think Deku's the worst main character of all time. But... It, it is just a shonen, sadly. And that's fine, because like shonens are awesome. Imagine, okay, imagine this. You're 11 to 12 years old. You haven't engaged with like any high literature yet. And you see Demon Slayer or My Hero Academia. That shit is going to slap. Like it's hitting so hard. So like I understand that there's a lot of kids out there having that experience. But since I had that experience a while ago, I've seen a couple shonen. You know, <laughs> I've got some, I've got some literature experience under my belt. It does not hit as hard. I'm just like, ah, this is... You know, it, it looks great, but it's pretty boring. I like Trigon Stampede. Was that the, the remake they made of Trigon? I'm just, I'm not, I feel like I'm never going to watch a Trigon remake. How do I get up here? What's the music keep playing? I'm an observer of this conversation. <laughs> what does that mean? Are you not like an anime watcher? Oh, miss? I'm like actually running out of ammo. What to do here? That's stupid. Crap. You should only watch one Shonen and it's Hunter. Hunter x Hunter. Okay. 
I kind of stopped watching anime, but I still keep an eye on it. My problem is a lot of the tropes and the gray area shit that it has. I grew up on weirdly specific 80s to 90s seinen and shonen anime. Mm. Yeah, I think, um... I like anime, but it's just, like, regular TV for me. There's good and bad, right? Like, I don't just, like, generically like any anime. I'm only gonna like the stuff that I like, right? What am I supposed to be doing? I, I have a hexagon. What's a hexagon do for me? I prefer generic story over a story that tries to subvert expectations. Actually, I do agree with that. When a story is only trying to subvert expectations, and you can tell that's like all it's trying to do, like it's not, it's not original on its own merits. All it all it is is like a reflection of what the normal is. Like that's that's dreadful as well. Then you end up with like terrible edgy writing, which is is probably worse than generic. <laughs> Especially after success of Puella Magi Madoka Magica. I've never seen that. I actually don't even... Is that a magical girl show? It sounds like it. Okay, what am I... What am I supposed to be doing here? I have the hexagon. I have a magic hexagon. Where am I putting it? Oh, just check the map. Hmm... Maybe I'm going there? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Well, it might be time to wind up stream anyway. We will just save and be done. Hmm. It's kind of a bummer though. Where am I supposed to be going? So going back to the um the just subverting expectations, that's kinda what I thought when I read Game of Thrones. Remember the Game of Thrones craze that happened like a while ago? Or many years ago now. <laughs> kinda felt like the writing was just super edgy. And he would just kill off characters just be like, ha, you thought that guy was gonna be important? Idiot! He's dead now. And I just I just don't enjoy that type of writing. I also did not enjoy George R. R. Martin's specific writing style, but that's definitely more more personal. Do I drop onto here? This is, uh, this is very wiggly. You're only too stupid to complete Resident Evil. I want to get up there, right? Do I shoot a ladder down or something? PMMM. M is a magical girl show written by Gen Urobuchi. The name doesn't ring a bell. Is it someone that's like famous for that kind of thing? Hey, when authors do that, like killing characters is a quirky fun activity. <laughs> Isn't that kind of the Jujutsu Kaisen thing though? Jujutsu Kaisen's kind of like, oh, here's a hexagon. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back. We're so back. Um, oh, turn around. You can turn it around. Yeah, it should be. Okay, yeah. No, <laughs> turn, turn around. It turns into a crank? Dude, that's so cool. I wish my town had cool, cool stuff. Hey, JJK so much right now. <laughs> <laughs> JJK is just like a salt mine. I can't decide if the author for that is like based or cringe. It's pretty funny no matter what though. Let's kill four of my faves. I mean, surely everyone's gonna die, right? It's more just like one of those shows where you're just like, how long is this person gonna last? Cringe because I can see through it. <laughs> can you now? Oh, 
Jujutsu Kaisen is interesting because I feel like it's one of the rare instances where I feel like the anime is better than the manga. I don't know if that's like a common opinion, but my introduction to JJK was through the anime. And I was like, oh, that was pretty sick. I'm going to actually read the manga. So I'm usually a manga reader. I don't have time to waste on anime mostly. But since JJK looks so good, I was like, I can easily watch this. The manga? I don't know. I just like... I don't like it that much. I don't like it that much. I feel like the anime actually improved it pretty significantly. I'm weak. I'm weak. The rotator first. Okay. Give me some spice. Give me some spice. I can see. Th I can see through people when I carve holes. <laughs> they took some creative liberties, but they built the characters. The music is great as well. Yeah, I think overall the anime is just like a huge improvement. Do I feel about Chainsaw Man? Wait, really? You like the manga? Or you like the anime better than the manga? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. There's there's a lot of cool moments in what I imagine would be season two. Does season two come out? Anyway, I have dropped JJK. <laughs> the author just went. He went too hard. He's definitely like laughing to himself though. He's like, "Ha ha! Look at the, uh, look at how salty they are. Look at how much they cry when I do this." Your influence is not what it once was. Destroy the wind-up dolls. Do not forgive this aristocrats. Okay. What? Oh, it's, um... It's what's-his-face. Wait, why can't I remember his name? It's the whole Napoleon. Hmm, skulls. I'm not big on... I'm not the biggest comic book fan. Do you want my opinion on Berserk? Oh, no. You can't not like Berserk, that's illegal! ILLEGAL! <clears throat> okay, so they just changed the place of that puzzle and put it somewhere else. Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> this is the worst situation possible! <laughs> that's not fair. No! Where do we continue from? We have to find a typewriter. Oh. Okay, that was that was brutal. Absolutely brutal. Wait, where are we? Okay, we're here. It's not that bad. For Salvador, my beloved. <laughs> you really like the chainsaw guy, huh? All about that chainsaw man, as you might say. I can't believe how like cinematic that death was. I turn around. There's a there's a freaking bear trap. Absolutely brutal. A mix on it, there's some interesting things, but some of it I don't care for. Berserk is um actually I am kind of surprised at how mainstream Berserk has become. Because there is like a lot of there's like a lot of very dark subject matter in it. Not your average anime normie would enjoy. But uh, I guess those those Berserk hype edits are just too much. They can't resist. He's literally me. It's me. I'm Guts. I'm the struggler. And there's people from behind too. Yeah, I'm gonna use a grenade. I'm gonna use a grenade. Did that even hurt him? Oh, it did. Okay, it did. I'm going to use a second grenade. Wait, 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 Is this guy dead yet? Okay, 
Okay, maybe that was maybe that was too ballsy. Six more shells. Stay down, all right? He's finally dead. Three grenades and four shotgun shells. World? Jeez. Oh, this is so brutal. Have to craft some shotgun shells, I guess. Do this with knife? Save a bullet? Yes, I can. Although saving a bullet is no longer as important when your knife is degradable as well. <clears throat> I almost fell for it. Almost. Almost. Okay. Wait, why has this already been activated? Have we been here before? Hmm. Huh. Is that like a boot on a pole? Hello? Can I go in? No? Won't open. Oh, I guess we have been here before. It doesn't work here. I need a typewriter. I need a typewriter. Huh? Okay. Do you believe in ghosts? Oh man, I would love to see a ghost. Um. Yes. Even ghosts, man. Probably not, but. I wish I did. Like most supernatural things. So when I came to these lands... Because oh, I'm from a distant land. I tried to... Tried to find everything supernatural. Went on a long quest. I wanted someone to show me magic. I wanted someone to show me ghosts. I wanted someone to show me basically anything. I haven't seen anything yet. It's pretty sad. There's a lot of girls on Tumblr who think they can do magic. They, they were not able to show me anything conclusively. I went through a whole side quest where I got some girls on Tumblr and Reddit, and I sort of decided that there's like a strange subsection of what I would. No, no. Maybe um. Let's just say maybe female autism presents in a different way, and you know, boys just like Sonic too much or something. And then, girls get really convinced they can do magic. Uh, so I went on a whole side quest where I was trying to get, trying to see some magic. Nothing happened. Finally, typewriter. Similarly, I spent a long time trying to see a ghost. I've not seen a ghost yet. Uh, I battled the Q and got sent to the future. Uh, that would be a cool story. Gotta go back to the past. Samurai Jack. Okay, I think... We're done with Resident Evil here. Oh, oh! I streamed a lot today. There's a there's a lot of streaming going on today. Oh, you're in what? Oh, because that guy in the the bathroom. Um, do I believe in ghosts? I don't know. Not really. I feel like I could be convinced pretty easily. <laughs> Man, I was trying to use a toy to come in and kill him. It could happen. It could happen at any time. That's so why people have anxiety about using public restrooms. Oh, I would love to see a ghost. Let's just say that. I would believe in ghosts if I saw it. I did have sort of a strange encounter with, with something borderline supernatural. I'm in possession. And this may sound strange, but I'm in possession of a human skull. It was passed down to me through a series of strange trades. I can post a picture on Discord. But, um... It once belonged to a doctor who lived in El Salvador, of all places. So the story was... This doctor from El Salvador... And this was, I think, around 1910? This woman showed up on the steps of his practice. And he couldn't save her. She was, she was deathly ill. And she ended up dying in his care, but no one knew who she was. She didn't have any relatives. So what he ended up doing was donating her body to science. 
And I have that skull through, I guess, a series of trades going down more than a hundred years now. So that's, that's kind of strange, but the skull was meant for display for medical uses, right? So you could like teach medical students. So it's set up on, um, it's set up on a stand that goes into the center of the skull. And then I don't know if you guys know, but jaws, your jaw is not attached. It's attached by sinew, like muscle ligaments, stuff like that. So you have to find a way to attach it to a skull. And the way that this skull is fashioned is it has springs, um, on the left and the right side. And because it's really old, the springs are pretty old. They're like really creaky, very creaky. It still works. You can have a good bite. Um, oh, it's also weird. The woman, despite living in a third world country in like a hundred years ago, she has perfect teeth. Uh, her teeth are all still intact. So when you, you can snap the jaw, it gives you a nice click. So the sound of this, and I'll post this on the discord, maybe like tomorrow night or something. Uh, I guess I'll probably advertise the discord since this would be a good time for people to want to join. Where's the button? Boom. That's wait, is it just showing. Okay. That's the discord. If you want to join. So the, um, shoot, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Um, the, the quality of her teeth is very strange. So the sound is very distinctive. And, um, one time I was, what was I doing? Oh, I, I gotten very used to the skull, right? But it's in another room. So I, ha I have it in another room over here. And one time I was playing loud music. I can't remember what it was. So I was playing loud music and then over the music, I was certain that I heard the very distinctive sound of the springs activating two times and then the click, click. And I was like, I... <laughs> In my head, I was like, hmm, what, what could that have been other than <laughs> the sound that I'm very familiar with because of how distinctive it is. And I, I couldn't be sure because I was listening to music really loudly, but I was like, hmm, maybe the skull doesn't like this music. So to be respectful, I've, uh, I've refrained from playing loud music around the, the skull recently. <sighs> it didn't have any sugar. <laughs> Really, really old schools before sugar was common have good teeth. Oh, you know, that's probably what it is. Yeah. There was no sugar to rot our teeth. So everyone just had perfect teeth. Yeah. That's like, I would say a mild paranormal encounter, but not enough to actually convince me of anything. <laughs> Share her thoughts. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite comfortable with her, but still, it is weird to hear the uh, click, click. And the, the sound of the springs. Wait, YouTube says it's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Is it, is it chunking? Is there a new mascot? <laughs> I'll, I'll post pictures later. It is just, it looks like a human skull. Do you name her? No. Why would I name her? She probably had a name. How can I just come along and be like, all right, your name is this now. <laughs> She's just the, uh, What's the, what's the Hispanic, like Lady Yorona? She's something like that. That's what she is. Yeah, Sam Bringle says it right. She's already named. How can I, how can I come along and rename her? All right, chat. Well, I think this is where we are closing the stream. One of many for tonight. Uh, put in a lot of hours of streaming today. I'm kind of tired because of it. <clears throat> Find the name. I think you are. You're vastly overestimating the the extent of records kept in third world countries from a hundred years ago. And I think she was a, she was a Jane Doe to begin with. No one knew who she was. Like that's why her body got donated to science. All right. I will see you guys next stream. Whenever that is. Thanks for tuning in as usual. Um, I appreciate the viewership. I don't have, I don't have a video coming along at this very moment. So I can't say. I can't say, you know, stay tuned for the next video, but it'll be soon. I'm sure. Oh, go watch the, uh, go watch the video I just posted. It's getting zero views. So maybe give it a little bit of love, like comment, subscribe, all that. All right.